Oops, wrong one. Uh, hey, what's going on there, Back to the Future fans? And what's going on there for all the Back to the Future world? <laughs> it's also in my world. So, but I got good news and bad news. The good news is, is that um, I already got the frame set up. It's not out of metal. Later on, like I said before, it's just a mock-up until I get everything situated. And then, um, when it does, it will basically be moving around in a um, motion simulator. So, crazy bikers. <laughs> but, yeah, at the moment, it's all out of wood, it's just a mock-up, and then when it's done, everything will be turned out, tear down, and uh, ready to go. I'm going to save up some money so I can buy a welder. I'm learning how to weld, too, and, uh, well, I'm trying to learn how to weld from YouTube, if that'll work, if anything. <laughs> so, um... You want to see what the what the vehicle looks like so far. Um, you just want to see what it looks like, do you? Even though that I do play DDR, but I'm also a Back to the Future fan. Don't you worry about that. Well, you guys, you waited long enough. Um, this is just a an update, just to tell you for how well it's going with the build. It's doing pretty good, actually. Um, I was just worried about the weather because it was cloudy for the last couple of days, and it's been that way for a while. But not right now, it's, as you can see. It's kind of nice out today. Perfect time to build because it's nice and cool. It's not that bad, not that hot, but I'm going to show you, finally, what she looks like. Here it goes. Alright, you guys. Well, like I said, it doesn't look like what it is right now. But, um, I did move it. Remember? In my last videos, I had it right there. But then I decided to move it underneath the porch. Why? Because crazy squirrels. They always jump on the porch, jump on the tree, and then do their thing. I don't know why. But I moved it over here because it looks good. And uh, I had to clean up some... Sur sorry about the mess. Yeah, but don't worry about that. I'm going to clean up. This is my workstation, as you can tell. Um, right now, I already got the frame set up for what I need to do. It's not mounted. It's not uh, screwed in with some bolts here and there. Uh, what I have to do is basically get everything drilled in. I ain't going to use a battery drill anymore. Well, I might still use that for some things here and there, but the battery drill you have to keep on recharging it over and over again just in order to drill the holes and to get everything uh, basically mounted on the side. Um, I'm going to show you what that's going to be in a minute. In a second. Uh, if you're wondering what that uh, wall is there, that's where your feet, uh, where the feet's gonna go. I just have those two two by fours right there, so that way it's holding up the base. Because later on, um, I will screw those down in there. Put two screws there, or um, maybe just two bolts in there. We'll see what I'll do, and then. I'm going to take a huge video uh, loop on this thing 
and uh, just to show you guys for how well this um, construction is going on um, take credit for this because it is representing the Back to the Future ride and I am trying to make sure that it feels the same way as you were if you're in a passenger time machine so those planks of wood that you see right there um, those will be an idea for what the doors could be I have to get a bunch of plywood uh, 4x8 plywood and basically you just put it down on the base on the bottom and uh, I still have to get everything situated this is um, just an update for now just to show you guys how well I'm doing and those crazy squirrels are killing each other but I don't know where they are <laughs> but this right here this is actually going to be um, the main part of the, of the base that's going to go um, I already have a piece cut out I just wanted to put this piece of 2x4 here to see what it looks like and it will go in the bottom right here bolted in or um, on all navy screwed in it's better if it's bolted in because it'll be more safe secure later on like I said I am gonna buy a welder I'm gonna tear this all apart you know I hate to do that but you know it's just a mock-up and then I'm gonna go buy some steel framing I'm gonna get the same way how it was when I tear it down and it's gonna be about the same size and length and uh, that right there I'm gonna keep because this is more important uh, right there in the middle that's uh, not right there that's where the 9 inch monitor will go for um, you know time check and scanner monitor that's going to be looping compared to the screen that's going to go right here where the ride is going to function at the same time and uh, over here a couple of uh, JBL speakers as I said for surround sound and subwoofer in the back probably and over here that's going to be a time circuit so I already made a little plate box for that out of uh, sheet metal 20 gauge sheet metal and there's going to be a halt main flux capacitor that's going to be right there I'm going to put a miniature version because that's how it is on the ride it's not a big one but it's a miniature almost like six inches yeah six inches on each side um, over here this is where the gauges are going to be I already got that I'm going to show you later um, you already see now my grade scott BTDF ride one but um, yeah okay as for the doors this is unstable right now for now because this is just what it's going to look like when the doors are mounted check it out see that that's what the doors are going to look like I'm going to make the hood the front hood it's going to have tires I don't know how I'm going to do the tires but I'll do them in a way you know that game that's let's go to the jungle game yeah I'm going to basically do it like that but the deluxe version because that's got that nice big screen where you can sit inside and you can have a couple of guns and shoot those jungle characters and whatnot. Yeah, that's what it's going to be basically uh, based on is the same way. But I already got the doors already figured out. Um, once the doors are set up, I'll know what to do with the rest of the body work on the vehicle and uh, the seats check it out I got nine minutes on this video hold on it's very long actually 
Now the seats, however, are going to be about 15 inches long on each side. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to make this whole entire vehicle out of carbon fiber. Now it's the same version of fiberglass, but all this here is out of fiberglass. The dashboard is out of fiberglass. Everything that you see here is on fiberglass. But I might, you know, make double it up a little more and make it more complex. So, um, until then, this is your friend in time, Jason. Uh, I hope you like this update. Feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, I want you guys to have the same idea for building something like this too as well. Catch you later. Bye.